everyone, my name is Jen and welcome to The Book Refuge and welcome to another book haul. Um, I am super excited to show off some more beautiful covers that I found recently. Um, I thought it was going to be a while before I did a new haul, but then I just kept finding beautiful things and I couldn't make myself wait, which happens sometimes. So I here's my beautiful uh, cart that I wanted to show off. I know a lot of people have these. I got it in bright pink because I'm cool. And I'm really excited to have a place to put cute magnets and stickers that I got. And so my plan is to kind of like have this cart have like new books that I bought. Um, although not all of these are. Currently just the top one is new because I still need to find a place to like put these other ones on the bottom. And then yeah and maybe have the bottom shelf be my tbr for the month i don't know how i'm gonna do this yet but i love this this one actually has like the handle on the back so i can like push it um so it also helps me move books because sometimes i film by my desk and sometimes i film here in my living room and no matter where i'm filming i usually end up trying to bring armfuls of books from place to place and dropping them all over so it's nice to have this that like moves pretty good on my carpet and I can bring it from room to room with all the books I want and it'll be cool. So I thought I would like use this as I go through my um, new purchases because I did do some um, online thrift shopping for these as well as there is some new ones that I've bought and I'm just really excited to do it. So I'm going to start with some books that I brought, bought brand new. And then I think we'll go to the ones that I got on sale. Let me just double check that I have all the new ones. Yes. So let me do that. So the first ones that I want to show you is I basically bought four out of six books that are in one series together because I think that they're going to be really cute. So this is called The Cavisham Heiresses. And I actually have books um, like three through six on it, three, four, five, six because Barnes & Noble didn't have the first two, but I just thought they were pretty and colorful, and honestly, I was looking for some books for my rainbow shelf, and I've always seen these Jana McGregor covers and thought they were so beautiful, so I just did it. So this one is Rogue Most Wanted, then we have Wild Wild Rake, The Luck of the Bride, and the good the bad and the duke which this one i'm super excited about the description because it's this woman lady daphne who decides like she gets left at home so it's like home alone lady edition and then there's the duke of south art who is her brother's best friend turned enemy and he is trying to like make a deal with her to help restore their reputation and I just thought it was cool I love that it kind of it kind of looks Christmassy so I thought this would be a fun one to read in the in the uh winter without it being like a Christmas novel because I'm not a huge fan of like Christmas books but I like when there's a holiday that just like happens to happen in a book I know I'm weird people make fun of me it's fine um so then I just picked up two Follow Me Darkly by Helen Hart. I've never read a Helen Hart book before, but I think this is either a standalone or the first in a new series. Um, yes, I think that it is. And it looks like she has the Steel Brothers Saga or the Wolves of Manhattan. I haven't read any of those, but I just love this cover. I love Masquerades. And this one is, you know, of course, it's a, it's a billionaire, but he's a blue collar billionaire, which means he probably made his own money. Um, and I think it's going to be an office romance yes so the woman does like social media for a hotel and then she meets the blue collar billionaire Barden Black and he opens up a side of her that she's never seen before I believe this is BDSM usually that's what the masks mean then I picked up Spoiler Alert by Olivia Dade I am actually going to be reading this in November as a buddy read with one of my friends um, because I really want to read this soon. I've been reading a lot of curvy girl romances recently. I've heard really great things about this one um, and I just wanted a friend to buddy read it with to make sure that I do read it because sometimes with these new releases I don't always get around to them in a timely manner. But I've heard really great things that I'm very excited for. 
So then I picked up Like Lovers Do, and I actually, you'll see when I get to my used books that I did pick up the first one in this, um, which is Sweet Talking Forever. A bunch of my friends were able to read arcs of this book. This is the second book in the Girls Trip series um, by Tracy Live Livesay. Live I don't know, but it's this group of girls, women, that they go on vacation together every year. And it's actually based on Tracy's like real life. Like she's a group of friends that they do this. Um, this is a mixed race couple. I believe this one's a friends to lovers. Yes. Yes, I think that it's going to be kind of like friends to lovers, which is cool. So, or like fake girlfriend. Yeah, okay. So it's going to be like fake relationship. So I've heard great things. This is a contemporary. Um, and again, you'll see I have the other one in my stack somewhere, but I can find it. And then I also just purchased today because I put a post about this on my Instagram story is like I still will buy some YA fantasy but I try to be really picky about it so it's either authors I already love or else the covers are just too good for me to say no to <laughs> so I actually picked up Poisoned by Jennifer Donnelly and this I don't think it's in a series with stepsister but she's kind of like you know doing like fairy tale retellings which I'm a sucker for um and like look there's like gold leaves on the back and so this one is about Snow White um, and I just really liked the opening line of it too, because I did check that out. So this one says, once upon long ago, always and evermore, a girl rode into the dark wood. Her lips were the color of ripe, of ripe cherries, her skin as soft as new fallen snow, her hair as dark as midnight. Like that's really good imagery and just, it's really beautiful. I still didn't read Stepsister, Stepsister yet, but this one's only like, well, this one's 300 pages, but I don't know. I can't promise I'm going to read it, but it's super beautiful, and sometimes I just still can't say no to that stuff. And it is kind of a theme of, like, this one's, like, shattering glass on the apple, and the stepsister was, like, shattering glass around the slipper, so, yeah, I'm just a sucker for this. Even the binding is beautiful, so I'm still just a book whore for that stuff. Like, I'm shallow when it comes to how books look. I just have to do it. So let's dive in. To what I have up here so I'm just kind of gonna grab these without like really looking all of the ones left in here they are used and I either got them in the store or like online but uh, my favorite thrift store that I go to um, they had finally restocked their mass market paperbacks because the last three times I went they hadn't refilled anything um, I'm sure they just didn't get around to it it's a huge thrift store um, and this time when I went they had restocked so I was able to fill up so I found two Lorraine Heaths that I didn't have, which is really exciting. So I found Pleasures of a Notorious Gentleman. So this one just has the pretty on the front. And I love the blue. I love Lorraine's books for the colors they are, as well as I've read four of her books and really liked them. Um, but so far, I just keep collecting them and not reading anymore. <laughs> and then this one, too, was called, is called Just Wicked Enough, which is just red. But then we get this on the back. So still pretty back cover. Lorraine, most of hers have really awesome like backs. Um, I use hers for like Step Back Saturday quite often because I just think they're gorgeous. I found um, Destiny's Temptress by Janelle Taylor. Just gorgeous. I love the horses in this one and I love the pink foil. This is like a foil um, her name is in. Never read a Janelle Taylor. This one is a 1864 in, I think it's a U.S. one. Yes, this is so funny. The first line of this one has me excited. This one's funny. Shannon Greenleaf thought she understood the risks involved in her attempt to sneak into the White House near midnight to speak privately with President Abraham Lincoln. Wow. Okay. I might need to move this up of books I want to read. That's awesome. Anyway, it's really beautiful. This one has a nice like wrap around too, like her foot wraps. I like it. So this thrift store that I'm talking about, all of theirs are 50 cents. Their step backs are two for a dollar. Not step backs, but mass market. So that's why I love that place. You don't always find, you know, the nicest books there, but they're two for a dollar, which is the cheapest place I found 
books. So when I find good ones, it's totally worth it. Then I found two books by Sylvie F. Summerfield, and they both are gorgeous. So I have Fires of Surrender, and I got this one, like the pose of the man and his armor. Just look at this. So I love this. Look at his armor. It has the spikes, and then like her hand is like sliding under it, and I love that like she's kind of sitting in his lap, like leaning back. You can also see like naked hip under there a little bit. It is so sexy. So this one I think is medieval based on how he's dressed. Yes. So this one is, um, I think it's not quite medieval. This might be encroaching on Tudor for this one because it's 1488. I have to look at my dates. I don't have the time that's memorized for all of those, but I think we're entering medieval. But even the horse, look at the horses. So I love horses on a cover. It's my favorite, but gorgeous. And then the other one is Captive Embrace. And this one I love because she's like wearing buckskin. So I'm a little nervous about what this one is. But I also love what she's wearing on the back. This one, she's like falling out of it. His name's Sebastian Kane. And he's looking for his brother's killer. And then he finds... Okay, so, ooh, yeah, I might not want to read this one because it says he finds a curvaceous half-breed named Summer. So, not the best wording for this choice. This book came out in 1986, but I thought it was beautiful. I did love how the buckskin looks. This is one of the, um, this is a zebra romance, so... Most of these, you know, I get them for aesthetic purposes and not for the content. So I found another Valerie Bowman. I read a Valerie Bowman's book. I read an arc of one and I really liked it. Um, and then I have one of her other books. She has a, quite a few books. And I really like the name of this series. There's a series called The Playful Brides. And I just love, they're just laughing together, really. Like, this isn't as, like, romantic of a cover, but I love that it's pink. It'll look really pretty in my uh, rainbow wall, my rainbow shelf. But I just love that they were laughing, and that is called The Playful Brides. And I guess there's a whole series by her that is The Playful Brides. Um, and her name is Delilah. And it just seems cute. Like, I like one thing. I love that it's, like, called Playful Brides. I said that a few times, but that just makes me happy. This one is by Elizabeth Evelyn Allen, and this is called To Fortune Born. And this one, I really liked the angst face on the guy. I don't know if I can get a good close-up of just, like, his face here. So this one, the heroine's name is, so this one's a nun, which got me really excited because I have, like, a tiny little kink in my heart for, like, priests and nuns who are in romances. <laughs> Blame Sierra Simone. She's messed me up. But it's also a, a Scotsman. So this one says, Jolie's luminous eyes looked at the handsome Scotman Rourke Campbell from beneath her habit. A foundling raised by the nuns of Strasbourg, she had defied the king by nursing a wounded Huguenot, and now she was running for her life. Pride masked her fear as she stood before a priest to wed the foreigner who agreed to marry her and help her escape to Britain. She had admired Rourke as a skillful physician. She had hoped to become his pupil to enhance her talents as a healer. She never dreamed of becoming his or any man's wife. Rebellious young Jolie burned with desire, but only for her ambition to be a doctor. She was as ignorant of the flames lit by passion as she was by, of her real name. But with Rourke's first kiss, she would discover the fire smoldering beneath her innocence, and neither treachery nor a dangerous truth could cool the white-hot heat of their love. Wow, so a doctor and a nun... And this is set in 1690. Wow. Okay. I'm interested. Interested. A nun and a doctor. That's cool. But I loved this cover. I love her dress and her hair. I love her redhead. Man, I'm very interested in that one now. That's cool. Okay. 
So this book I got purely because I want to use it in a photo for the fall. And this is called Autumn Rain by Anita Mills. So I just happen to have her other one here. Her other one by hers that I got was Falling Star. And they were both this like shiny. And this one had like this inside. It was this beautiful like full double page step back. And so this one is the same only it has like leaves. Look at this. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So I really am a fan of Anita Mills covers because I like that I just don't have anything of this like the this like fall theme. It's gorgeous. Love it. So this one's set in 1807 and in Regency England. Yep. So I don't know when I'll read Anita Mills, but they make for beautiful photographs. Love it. Then I found this one called Wicked as Sin by Jillian Hunter. And at first I thought that this was a paranormal. Um, just because, I mean, you can see the sword right here, but without that, I feel like this has like the color palette of, you know, like a Sherilyn Kenyon or something like that. But then inside there was this. I love when a woman is like, taking some of her own clothes off or holding something open and so this one just ticks my talk right there look at that dress it's so beautiful i love it and so this one is a is a cavalry officer so that makes me excited i really love officers and then we have a woman who she lost her fiance so she's in need of someone new to protect her so this is also uh not quite regency anymore but it's 1816 so this one had an interesting front. This is Jillian Hunter. But again, the step back for 50 cents. Oh, then. So last week I read, well, when you're seeing this a few weeks ago, um, I read the book Bewitching by Jill Barnett with my friend Shay um, from Shay Geeks Out. We wanted to do a buddy read. And we ended up doing two buddy reads together. And one of them we did neither of us liked. But Bewitching we did. And I only had an ebook copy. Actually, both of these books are currently, both books in the series are currently on Kindle Unlimited if you want to check it out. And then literally I just, I looked at the shelf and this one was sitting there. And I was like, how perfect because I was going to try to order a copy because I love this book too much. So it is warped a little bit, but it was only 50 cents. And if I find a prettier copy someday, I'll buy it. But I love this. Also, the character's name is Joy. Her name is Joyous and she's Scottish and she's a witch. So this is beautiful. There's this witch. This is like um, historical bewitched. It is adorable and I loved it. It even is like once upon a time. This book was just so happy and it's this duke who like has no joy and is just this grumpy grump. And there's this witch. She's trying to use a traveling spell to like get her to where she needs to go and it goes awry and like drops her in the forest right near where this duke is coming. I think he's a duke. Yes, a duke who's coming by in his carriage and he ends up, you know, rescuing her from the woods and then marrying her because he just is instantly in love with her. But so it's insta love, but he is fighting it with everything he has and he may or may not blame her being a witch for why he's in love with her. But oh, this witch is so sweet. I love it. I love it so much. And so it's also she's Scottish and he's British. So or Scottish and he's English and so he calls her Scottish as a nickname all the time and it's so cute so I was happy I found a copy of this um, and I adored it the best dream of all is the is one love makes come true like oh, I love this book oh I forgot about another new one that I purchased I also purchased Her Night with the Duke by Diana Quincy, and I'm going to do this one as a buddy read as well with my friend Crystal over at um, Crystal's Bookish Life. Finally remembered the name of her channel because I'm a good friend. But I've heard a great things about this one. This is a uh, stepmother, stepson romance, and I love those in contemporary. And, oh, I'm just so excited for this one. I, oh, I love this so much but her husband died and like he was much older than her so her stepchildren are all really close to her age and oh it's not a stepson wow i just made that up correction it's a man who's going to marry her stepdaughter why did i think it was a stepson oops 
oops, sorry, I've been saying that wrong in a lot of stuff. No one's called me out on it yet. Um, there's a man who's going to marry her stepdaughter, but they like don't really know each other. And so she has this night where she like meets him and they, I don't think they sleep together, but maybe they do. I don't know. I haven't read it. So we'll find out, but I'm reading this with Crystal in November. Um, and it sounded cute, but she doesn't want to get in the way of her stepdaughter's marriage there. That's what it is. Then I found Captain Jack's Woman by Stephanie Lauren. This is just a front cover, but I loved it because it has a step back, but it's not a step back. I hate when they do that. So this I found out is actually a prequel to the Bastion Club series, which I have not read, but I own a couple of them. Um, and I mean, it's pirates and I guess it sparked the Bastion Club series. It's a pretty like good size one too but anyway it's awesome looks cool then we got another one that your girl okay guys just wait till you see this so it's another sparkly cover this is lily white by linda ladd okay look what's inside look at this a naked bathing in the pond holy bananas just holy bananas. Yeah. Wow. So I guess this is a Civil War one. Yeah, this is an American one. And this woman gets kidnapped. And she has, like, special powers. She has, like, a uh, premonition. And she is going to be, like, sold into sex slavery. It's a white woman, too. Yep. And she ends up getting... Let's see. So there's a secret agent from the north who's going to try to help her, but he also needs to like keep his mission a secret. So I just, I opened this one and I was done. Like naked bathing. Here we go. Like that's all I needed to know. Like, wow. I didn't even know what that one was about. So um, then I actually have one I got off of eBay. So I've told you this in multiple things now. I'm collecting all of Catherine Coulter's like original covers. And it's like kind of disappointing for some of them because not the entire series has an original cover, but some of them do. So this one is for Fire Song, which is part of her like Viking series. And this one is beautiful. I really love the like, it's almost like a rose gold lettering on this one. So there we go. Yeah, this one's definitely mid, like Viking. It's medieval, you can see that. So, or no, this one's medieval, not Viking. Yeah. So, beautiful. I ordered that one on eBay. I have one more coming and then I have all of her books. All right, so then we have the ones that I got online. So I found the three of the books in the Billionaire Boys Club, which I grabbed because these ones were only like 50 cents each. Um, I'm still missing the first one though, so I need to find that, but these ones just seem sexy and fun and they're only 50 cents each. So I got One Night with the Billionaire, Beauty and the Billionaire, and then The Wrong Billionaire's Bed. So those ones are contemporary, but then here are some more that I picked up. These ones, I got them online and they were like $2.50 each. So I just got all of them that this one had that I didn't have. So I picked up The English Duke by Karen Rainey and To Bed the Bride by Karen Rainey. Then I got Angel in the Devil's Arm Angel in a Devil's Arms by Julianne Long. The Legend of Lion Redmond. I got The Duke That I Marry by Kathy Maxwell. This one has a really cute step back. They're like fighting with a chair, which is just so cute. So this one's a false marriage. And again, like they just look like they're having so much fun. I like that. So that's cute. And then I got um, His Secret Mistress which already makes me like a little nervous because I don't like that trope too much, but maybe it's really sexy and fun. 
So Kate is an actress. Yeah, mm, it's so cute. I love it. I really need to read Kathy Maxwell. Ooh, here's that other Tracy Live Say. So this is one I got online. So this is the, this one I got at Barnes and Noble and this one I was able to find online for $2.50. So I have the first two books in this series. Decided to read those. Then I have Governess Gone Rogue by Laura Lee Girk. This is another lady that I keep collecting her books and like not reading them, but they're really pretty. Um, what a Difference a Duke Makes by Lenora Bell. This is from School for Dukes. And then I got Counting on a Countess. This is a London Underground book. And I love the woman on the cover of this. I love the look in her face. I love her dress. It's beautiful. And then this book I discovered is a book that had a name change. So I did already own this book and not know it because I just went off what the title was about, but that's okay. It's really pretty. And this is A Lady in Disguise by Lindsay Sands. And I actually like this cover better than the other one I have. So I'm not mad about it anyway. So there you go. Those are all the books that I just recently purchased. Um, you can see everything escalates really quickly when you <laughs> go on a spree like I did. So yeah. Definitely check out my socials in the description if you haven't already. I have a Discord where we can talk about books anytime. I do monthly buddy reads with friends that you can find in there as well. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, with at the, the Book Refuge. So I'd love to talk to you then. Make sure you subscribe for more bookish content, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!